Welcome to the Lend Me Your Ears podcast, where we explore practical solutions to your sales problems. Today, we bring you an exciting article titled, Handle Historical Injustices by Owning Them. Originally published on lendmeyourears.co.ke. In today's podcast, we're going to get into the concept of owning past mistakes caused by other salespeople and turning them into opportunities for growth and progress for yourself. So, if you're ready to learn how to handle historical injustices like a professional, let's get started. First off, let's clarify what we mean by historical injustices. In essence, these are past wrongs that were committed on a people, by individuals who are already dead, but the wrongs continue to impact the well-being of those living today. In Kenya, we often associate this term with land issues, but in the world of sales, it takes on a different form. Imagine finding yourself in a situation with a customer where a past mistake made by someone else in your company is hindering your current sales efforts. It might feel frustrating and limiting, but it's crucial to approach these challenges with a proactive mindset. Historical injustices are a reality every seller must take in stride. They come with the territory. Lamenting over them as an excuse not to sell is limiting yourself. Admittedly, it's not easy to do so when you are at the receiving end of one. This is because the injustice is usually unleashed as a curveball and in a curt manner by the aggrieved customer. And you don't see it coming. Picture this scenario, a seller rudely faces the aftermath of a historical injustice as they're confronted by a supervisor in an open plan office. You. You from Bank INC. You are all liars. I have told everyone here not to buy from your bank. All this is shouted in an open plan office at the hapless seller. All 17 prospects hear it, and worse, it's from their supervisor. His authority energizes the accusation. Just like that, the seller's upbeat mood and dream plan for the day are stopped cold, drowned in a tsunami of negative energy. Forget that he is clueless about the supervisor's accusation. Any version of, it wasn't me, will only rile the supervisor more. So, rather than denying involvement or escalating the situation, the seller acknowledges the accusation and seeks to understand the issue. By owning the situation and empathizing with the aggrieved party, the seller diffuses tension and opens the door to a constructive conversation. Handling historical injustices requires a balance between accountability and solution seeking. In our scenario, the seller swiftly responds by saying, I'm sorry to hear about your bad experience. Could you share with me what happened? By doing so, the seller shows a willingness to address the issue head on. In this case, the historical injustice revolves around miscommunication concerning a loan application timeline. It turns out that four months before, his colleague told the supervisor he qualifies for a loan in three months. But when he applied, He was told, no, it's after six months. The seller takes a proactive stance, acknowledging the mistake and offering a tangible solution. Instead of retreating, the seller understands that tackling the issue directly and conclusively is the path to advancement. Retreating to another market with your tail between your legs just delays your building capacity to handle historical injustices. And it makes you irresponsible. This is because, there is no purely clean air in selling, it all has pockets of pollution. Caused by you or another salesperson, deliberately or not, it doesn't matter. Your retreating weakens you as a seller and strengthens the prospect's belief, and the 17 other staff that, you are all liars. So, how does our savvy seller transform this situation? It's all about being accountable and taking decisive action. The seller acknowledges the error and commits to addressing it with the colleague responsible. This approach builds credibility and trust, which are essential in the world of sales. In the immediate and taking it a step further, the salesperson proposes a solution to the aggrieved party. May I review your bank statements and see what the chances of you getting the loan are? By offering to review his finance history and personally handle the loan application process when it's due, the seller demonstrates commitment to making things right. This not only rectifies the immediate problem but also establishes a foundation for future cooperation. But he does not stop there. 
Remember he came there to sell and there are another 17 potential prospects to sell to. So the seller goes the extra mile by requesting an introduction to the other staff, aiming to rebuild relationships and restore trust. This proactive approach showcases the seller's dedication to his clients and his determination to rise above historical injustices. In conclusion, handling historical injustices in the world of sales requires a combination of ownership, empathy, and practical solutions. By acknowledging past mistakes, addressing them head-on, and providing tangible ways to rectify the situation, savvy sellers can transform challenges into opportunities for growth. Thank you for joining us in the thrilling Lend Me Your Ears podcast, and don't forget to subscribe for more hair-raising insights and practical solutions to your sales problems.